Hello everybody and welcome to the next episode of Lurkro News. Yay! The I was going to do our Keeper walkthrough episode today, just like I was gonna do on a Monday. And these wonderful events I just really want to cover keep coming out. And this one is about Helm's Deep, the new expansion that Turbine unveiled, or Warner Bros. Entertainment now, unveiled just yesterday, I think. And I'm really excited. It raises the level cap to 95, not that I've managed to get my warden to 85 yet. And it adds the Battle of Helm's Deep, which it says you can join from level 10. So I have no idea how that's working out, but I'm excited to see how it goes. And, see, I have no idea where I'm going, but I'm going to try to head back to Arid Lewin for the beginning of the next video while I do this. Which means I'm going to end up running off a cliff, I'm sure, somewhere in the episode. So... What else? The It says that it's going to change all the classes, and it says that every time, so I'm not too concerned about that. And it also says that it, you're going to explore the rest of Horohan, which is really nice. And I just wish it'll come sooner. Chances are this is going to come out the end of fall, as that guy was saying. That, you know, the end of fall, that seems to be where they come out with an expansion or so. As that guy was again saying, it's very consistent. So, where's the stake master here? Um, they're all... And... Wow. I'm complete... Oh, there it is. There it is. So, anyway, resuming where I left off. I expect it's gonna sell for what the other expansions have sold for. I.e. a lot, so I'm gonna start saving up money now so I don't... So I can get the biggest one, because that's the way I go with these sorts of games. I save up and get the awesome ones. So, take him off to Thorin's Gate. Trout yard. And now he gets on a new horse. You can't even use my horse. Um, so anyway. The Helm's Deep expansion will probably come out with its own set of cosmetics if it follows the same line of reasoning that all of the other expansions have come out with. And it'll probably come out in the three-tiered expansion the Majabur. So it'll have the normal tier, heroic tier, and legendary tier or other named tiers, but generally three tiers. The For those who just want the area, for those who want the area and slight bagging rights, and for those of us who are just plain psychotic, like me. So, they pretty much have the, do you want to spend a little money or waste all your money on this? And some of us, a lot of Lotro fanatics are going to save up and waste all their money on this. And I have no problem with that. Lotro, if you had to pick a game to waste your money on, Lotro is the game. Lotro is the... All games, really, if you think about it, have no practical application whatsoever, but Lotro is the best waste of money that you'll ever see in the RPG world. Which is a really kind thing to say if you think about it. It's harshly worded, but it's a kind thing to say. So now I have to head all the way down over to where I was... Oh, I can just talk to this Stable Master, and he'll take me somewhere else. Travel by Stable Master to Stable Master. So I think Nogland is where I was heading. So there we go. And this isn't a swift travel, so I'll be able to talk while this guy happens then. Well, this happens, and mahaha, I'm faster than you. So, other than that, the Helm's Deep expansion looks pretty straightforward. There's no preview for it yet. We're probably expecting that in a month or two. And life will go on as normal. But I just was logging in today to get all ready for my Runekeeper walkthrough, and I saw that and thought that, that was probably slightly more news-making than me leveling up once on a Runekeeper. So, I will try to get that Runekeeper out on Runekeeper walkthrough out. Friday or Saturday. I'm being pretty regular with the videos this week, and I've got a little more time to upload them than usual, but still, two videos, like I'm hoping to get this one up tonight, two videos is a pretty good week for me. I've got a second YouTube channel I'm starting out, starting up that I've mentioned repeatedly, and if you do want to check that, that's Super Noob 11, with the second O in Noob being a zero. And hopefully it's now got enough videos, you'll be able to find a video from that. And if you don't want to find it, then that's fine. I'm perfectly content with you guys watching this video. And I want to thank you all, 44 subscribers, that's amazing. And who knows, if it's six more subscribers, then we'll have our next landscape video. I was really an annoyed, I suppose is a good word for it. Somebody posted pretty much that Burning Stone's computer was terrible, and... It may be not. I just recently got this one, 
but I think most of the lag was Fraps. Fraps has caused a lot of the games I do videos on to lag. So I don't think it's any particular thought fault of Burning Stone. It's more a risk you do when you have videos. Because I doubt many computers will run this game without lag. See, this has slight lag even without with Fraps on, on a very new computer, so don't blame his computer, blame the software that makes frack. Don't blame anything, just accept it and make the best of it, I guess, is the message I'm trying to get across to you, Rager person who commented that. Although, I do appreciate your comments, even when they're nitpicky about about things like that, they do help us improve. I'll see if there's a way to get fraps to not lag out everyone's computer when we do videos, and if we can't, then I'll just take it in stride and apologize to other people who complain about the same thing. So that had nothing to do with Helm's Deep. Sorry about the coughing in the background. Other sick people here. And thank you for watching. I hope you're all looking forward to Helm's Deep like I am. And I hope you have a wonderful day.